So what's your plan here? That might be the most amazing thing I've ever seen. All right guys, uh, the Turbo Coupe is back. We are at a new shop. We are at Dunlop Automotive in Bracebridge. Uh, they have agreed to let us kind of take over the shop for a little bit. Obviously they don't watch our videos because the floors are way too clean here. Um, but what we're here to do today is redo the fuel lines. We've got rolls of nylon line. That's what we're gonna be replacing it with. It's a lot easier. It's only slightly more expensive than uh, the normal steel lines. Uh, the connections are easier. If we need to do repairs on it, we can just cut it, splice a new section. No real special tools needed. Um, we listened to all of your comments. Uh, we thought about what we we're gonna do for the fuel tank. We thought about just dropping that tank out, putting it back up into the trunk. The issue is it would take the entire trunk. So what we are going to do is take this, and uh, you guessed it, this is our new fuel tank. Uh, we're gonna take the sending unit, we'll cut a hole, we'll put it in there. It means that we'll only get uh, a little bit of lap time out of it, but that's gonna be our safest bet. That'll sit in the wheel well inside the trunk. Uh, we'll secure it down so it doesn't shift. It's already got venting, it's already got a gauge on it. All we gotta do now is redo all the fuel lines and put that in and we are good to go. So that is what this video is gonna be about, is us throwing this bad boy up on the hoist, taking out all the old fuel lines, all the old brake lines that uh, I just left in there and put in this fuel tank. So this should be a fun day. Okay, so the general plan is get in, take the tank out, but we're gonna cut, well, we're gonna get rid of all the lines that I should have gotten rid of a long time ago. Um, but what's really weird about this car and the fuel lines is, uh, as you can see here, we've got nylon lines, and then they go to steel lines, and then they go back to nylon lines, and then they come over the drive shaft, and then back over, it's just a dumb setup. So we're gonna, we're gonna fix all that, hopefully. Woo, smells like gas under here. Um, and just go straight nylon lines from the, uh, the tank all the way forward to the fuel rail. So no, no need for hard lines. I probably should not yeah, do that. Because that one's doing a whole lot of just... What are you talking about? It just kind of exists. That's that's a thing. That's fine. <laughs> it's fine. That's how... The, look at it. It's easy, easy removal. See? Already done. <laughs> Where's my knife? We need to start cutting shit. Uh, you good? Oh, yeah, man. Oh, okay. We're ready. I thought you were still uh, pulling Yeah, I don't know. Oh, I can pop the wires. Playing with, his, here. playing with his hose. Speaking of which, we'll have to get the fill neck. I think, there's, I think there's a little bit of fuel left in it. Sounds like it. Just pulling out or no? Oh yeah. 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 Yep. Pulling out like a data six. You uh, hit that small pedal there. There it goes. Okay, she's about to release. Okay. Oh, there she be. All right, can't go yeah. much further. Nope, hey look, that filler neck looks nice though. You should sell that. Who wants it? Five bucks. Ford guy, I'll buy that for sure. Ford guy, yeah. Oh yeah, matching numbers. Where did I put tight there? It's in my pocket. Uh, which pocket? Oh, damn. <laughs> Next time. What am I cutting? <laughs> Your vent line? That's the rubber one. This one? Yeah. You sure? Sure. Blue wire? So. We'll find out. I don't know where it vents to. Charcoal canisters hiding under the snow in Jacob's driveway. <laughs> Along with lots of other parts. Uh, okay, so those two are gonna. These are the two the lines. That we're, well, should we just cut them way back here? Uh, you can do that. Yeah, I mean, then we can join them. Try to fucking eyeball for it. One of those. That one. <laughs> <laughs> Found it. <laughs> Yeah, I should have kept my fucking uniform shirt on. Fuck. Can you get it? I can see it. Yay! I'm not really known for doing a lot if you hadn't watched the videos. It's, it's pretty much the Scott show. I just fund the projects and film them. And Fair enough. Scott kind of builds them. Yeah. <laughs> Start funding mine. Yeah, what? Uh, that's next. They'll move to Windsor. You won't have that problem. Yeah, but... You know what we don't know is which ones... Oh. Well, I might as well drain these out already. You can say don't move the ones. Uh, the like larger it. one will be your feed. Yeah. They both look the same which size. Will be, no, look at the sending unit. Oh. Be this that one makes here. sense. That's your return. 
So what I was uh, thinking about is we just cut out the top of the tank. Fucking RTV it onto the tank. Oh yeah, it's steel tech, which is uh, Hash whatever hashtag works. name drop. So whatever works. All right. Cool. There's a lot more fuel in there than you think. <laughs> yeah. Gas cage probably more shit on top of that than the last time we did this. Yeah. We also have done a lot more shit to this since the last time we did this. That's true. At least it's not on my chest this time. Should I do another cut back to Scott being mad at me about this? <laughs> There we go, all the old fuel lines, brake lines, all that shit is now out in pieces. We've now got a quote unquote clean chassis to work with. <laughs> but, yeah, come on, get your exposure setting, there we go. So uh, now we just gotta run some fuel lines, we should be good. Okay, so what we're on to now, how everything has been taken out is we're going to be cutting into our fuel cell. Um, what's awesome is that this pump is, well, basically the perfect height. So we're just trying to find a good spot on the tank to cut it because we don't know if this is extruded up or not. We thought about trying to fit it in here, but it's just too wide. So it's just a matter of doing that, then we'll cut it and then find a way to uh, clamp her down or seal her in. But that is the plan currently. Cut a big hole and mount it and then secure it in place and we can start running lines off her. That's craftsmanship right there. <laughs> yeah, sand her down and how you said it fits. Oh, it is just thicker too, good. So we can just sand that down. Perfect! Fuel cell for the win! So what's your plan here? <laughs> We're gonna take the lock ring. Well, I know, I just, I, for the camera, for the people, come on. We're gonna take the lock ring assembly out and we're gonna bolt it into the fuel cell. That's probably the best bet. Fuel cell. Bolt or rivet or bolt. seal it, bolt it. Okay. Lots of RTV. Cool, might as well. <laughs> we like RTV. And on the vacuum line side of things, um, everyone was right except for me. I was an idiot. There's a giant vacuum leak in the, pro in the the car, uh, one of the lines that went to the original boost gauge, factory boost gauge was fucked. Uh, it was broken and uh, was bleeding off vacuum. So, we're good now. Yay, go team. All right, so there's the plan. It actually looks pretty good. <laughs> hey, maybe just grind the edges a little smooth and we're yep. pretty much there. Clean them out. And then you're, and then you're just gonna reach in and yeah. seal them from the inside? Well, we'll put a, the steel tech in here. Yep. Right, it'll seal the steel and the plastic. Yep. And it'll just bolt it down tight. Nice! Yeah. That is some fucking thinking right there. World's cheapest fuel cell. Damn right. It'll well, pass well, somebody's so inspection. <laughs> what are we done here? Well. <laughs> I get a good, there you go. <laughs> she fits. And uh, I'm gonna bolt it in and Dude, lock ring down. And That uh, might be the fucking. We're gonna pressure test it here in a minute. That might be the most amazing thing I've ever seen. That's outstanding. I'm pretty impressed. That's. Do you want to leave the uh, little pin cushion? I kind of do. I kind of like it. <laughs> it's like a fuck off, don't touch my fuel tank. Yeah, fair enough. Anti theft. Yeah, <laughs> any fuel theft. Out of these two. Shouldn't. Shouldn't. One's got a check valve in it, the other one's the pump, so. Unless it's going to blow through the pump. Uh, I don't think so, but you never know. Never know. Shit happens. Oh, no way. Dude, you could see that expand. Yeah. Holy shit. There's a slight. 
I have a leak detector we can put on there. There's a little bit coming through there. Right there. Yeah. So where right the there. original O-ring is. Yeah. That's all that's leaking. <laughs> that's hilarious. Could throw a little bit of soap and water to prove it, but that's hilarious. It's fucking damn near airtight. Is that le what is that? Okay. So we're doing gas fans. Uh, it works well for doing uh, evap leaks. Okay. That makes sense. Is it just a soapy water kind of thing? or? Yeah, it's super fucking thick. Oh, Jesus. Oh. Yeah, I feel like it came out from there, yeah. but so might have to just get another lock ring. Which, uh, I can have that tomorrow. Yeah, I can't see those being expensive. No. That's, that's probably around 10 bucks. Put it on my tab. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's go again. Yep. Oh, one right there. Uh, so that one's gotta be cranked down a bit. But yeah, that's it. That's, that's the only spot. One. Yeah, there's a little bit. All the way around the ring. Yeah, just the ring. Wow, that's crazy. Everything else is fine though. Wow. Jesus. So today is tomorrow, which was yesterday or the day before. Uh, we are back at Dunlop Automotive. The tank has got another coat. The turbo coupe is now on a different hoist. Uh, today we'll finally run the brake line, or brake lines, run the fuel lines and then we'll go from there. Uh, I spent last night doing a bit of work on the front end. Doesn't look like much, but we had a bit of a leak uh, in one of the injectors and we fixed up all the vacuum lines, made sure they're running correctly. So that should fix that issue, but now it's time to throw it up, redo the fuel lines, and then we'll see what else we can get into. Okay, so what we're gonna start with is uh, we're gonna run the fuel lines from the front to back, because uh, we're still waiting for the tank to dry up a bit. We're not 100% sure on its location either. So we'll start connecting up to the front, run to the back, and then, uh, yeah, that, that should be the easy part of tonight. Fingers crossed. So our plan is basically, here are the two fuel lines. Um, uh, feed and return, but anyways, we'll take them, come on, focus. We'll take them, we'll run them through here, and then over on that side of the frame rail, and then all the way back, and then they gotta poke up through that hole in there to get into the uh, new fuel compartment that's back here. So, there's also a drain here, so if the fuel ever does spill, we can pop this drain out uh, as well. Uh, we will be putting a piece of metal between the driver compartment and the trunk, don't worry, to act as a firewall if anything does happen. So that part of it will be safe. Okay, this is what we got so far. Hang on, zoom out. So the one thing we did do is uh, through, uh, these are actually little pieces of hose that were originally protecting the line. So we threw them through this hole that we kind of expanded out. And that way our fuel lines aren't, uh, aren't gonna get pinched. Hopefully, that's the plan. So if there's any pinch point, it's here. But if this is pinching, then the car's fucked anyway, so it should probably shut off. So just consider this an emergency kill switch in case you get into an accident. That's a, you know, safety built in. It is a Ford. <laughs> So there we go, those fuel lines are where they need to be. And they run, they run, they run. Ah! That's probably all out of focus. But uh, anyways, we go back up the stock fuel location, which means we can run those grommets. So this might be the least sketchy thing on this entire car. All right, so this is our basic layout right now. We're gonna keep the fuel filter nice and close. That way when we have to change it, it's easily serviced. Just trying to think ahead. Plus we're too lazy to lift the car back up. Um, so you see a few lines are coming through there, grommets there. Uh, we'll probably run the vent through that other hole because we're gonna vent off of there. So that way we're not venting into the driver compartment. And uh, I get to learn how to use one of these bad boys to, uh, looks like a caulking gun, but they push these quick release fittings on. So I'm kind of excited about that. Just use my flaring die because it's got Oh, okay, it's got the right side. Right. Yeah. 
right sizes, but it also holds the line better. Figure out your depth. Your depth. And it's quicker than using a wrench. There you go. You gotta make sure you get the right size. Pressure <laughs> pin on there. Always key. Yeah. It's the only thing. And then just, just like a caulking gun. Do you don't need any lube or anything? Nope. Huh. Just gotta keep it centered. Now, because of the way Ford has it on this car, these are larger, like quite a bit larger than the 8mm line. Yeah. But. Dude, that's crazy. There you go. Look at that. Jesus. That's way too easy. <laughs> way too easy. And then we just toss that bad boy on and yep. lock her in and halfway there. Okay, so we're all kind of lined up. It actually doesn't look half bad in here. Uh, other than this red piece, you wouldn't even know. Right? <laughs> and the extruded bolts, which I kind of like. Um, so yeah, we're gonna throw a little bit of fuel in it and test it for leaks. And uh, all we got left to do then is make up our strap to hold it in place, put our vent tube on, and we can go do burnouts. Fuel system's good. We uh, threw those new calipers on. We test fit their new front wheels. We gotta drop the car a bit, but uh, the nice thing now is we're not rubbing at full lock, so that's nice. And we got a little bit of poke, so for the extra drift point style. Uh, we also threw in the seats that uh, Colin from Misfit Drifts gave me. So thank you, Colin. They are. Um, they're cheap eBay seats, but I traded the old Recaros that I traded from Clayton for those rims. So now I have a set of 17s for the car, so that opens up a lot of possibilities. But that is all that is left to do now is take it for a quick test trip. And that is it. So thank you guys for watching. Uh, make sure to check out all the videos. New videos are out on Mondays and Fridays. Check out the Patreon account. We got that new build going on that you should be involved in. Uh, check out Piss Ned Podcast on Wednesdays and make sure to check out Dunlop Auto. I will throw a link down there. Somebody would really appreciate it. Um, other than that, guys, um, we're back on the next episode. We're going to do some more stuff to the drip chicken here. Uh, maybe get the e-brake in, a couple other fun things, but uh, we'll catch you guys next time.